Hello there everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the Weekend Love Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into each zodiac signs, weekend love energies for this weekend of February 5th, 6th, and 7th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and each zodiac sign has their own reading in this video. So in the description box below, you will find the timestamps. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps as well. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with everyone out there. So please check out your other chart placements. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of this beautiful channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. Keep in mind, these are the weekend love readings, so they are very straight to the point with little to no clarification. So if you are looking for something more in depth, the February love readings for the first half of February are already out for every zodiac sign. And I just released a couple bonus readings as well. And the February mid month readings are going to be going out next week too. So ring that bell so you are on top of all of my releases if you have not done so already. So we do have a Aquarius new moon on February 11th, which is next Thursday or whenever you're watching this. Basically, it's going to be next week from this weekend. So I am going to be getting a moonology card for each zodiac sign at the end of the reading to see what moon phases are directly influencing each zodiac sign's love life. So Let's get into it and let's get started. Keep in mind that for some of you, these readings may resonate backwards. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and assign the roles as you wish. So let's get started with my beautiful Aries. So whatever zodiac sign we are on, we'll be on the first easel, just in case you pop on this reading and you have no idea where we're at. So Hello, my beautiful Aries. Spirit for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives. Can I please have three cards? What's going to be coming towards my Aries in their love lives for this weekend? For my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives. <clears throat> All right, Aries, let's see what's coming through for you. Aries, we have the Hanged Man. We have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Chariot. So I do feel like, Aries, there is an energy that you may be feeling very stuck. It's like you want to move forward, but you feel also this feeling of neglect from love. Could be dealing with a cancer's, cancers, Cancer or a Pisces. You may have this in your chart. They may have this in their chart. Five of Pentacles here. There is an energy around Earth energy. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it looks like, Aries, you may be feeling very neglected from a connection because of your own sort of stuckness. I do feel like there's an energy of you not knowing which route to go down that is going to make this connection or make your love life positive. So I do feel like Aries, you may be having some sort of abandonment issues. You may be really feeling like you don't want to be abandoned. You don't want to be neglected. So you may be holding on to that very strongly. But I do feel like you are going to be moving forward away from that. A lot of you Aries, you may have some trouble. Like, how do I get over these abandonment issues? How do I move forward with my person without constantly questioning them if they're going to leave me? That's a sort of situation here. And it looks like you are going to find the key, the answer, and you're going to find movement forward here. If you have recently just been neglected, Aries, I do feel like this weekend may shift that where you feel a lot more victorious in love, you know, depending on whatever made you feel this way. It looks like you're 
going to be changing your mind this weekend. So it looks like if you have been feeling neglected this weekend, you may change your focus to finding a more positive path to go down or your person may be wanting to move forward a lot quicker than they were before. They may have been leaving you in some sort of stagnation mode that made you think you were going to be left behind. But it looks like you are going to be moving forward in your love life with a lot more ease and a lot more clarity than you have been having. So it looks like beautiful movement forward. It just looks like Aries, you may be stuck on some sort of feeling of thinking you'll be abandoned or you have already been abandoned and it's very difficult for you to move forward. But I do feel like for a lot of you Aries, this may have been an energy of you just feeling a neglect from your love life or your love connection. And now this weekend, things are changing where you and your person are finally going to be moving forward. And you're finally going to be getting out of this fear of being left behind. So let's get your Moonology card here for my beautiful Aries. You may live at a distance from this person. You may be traveling to see them, traveling towards them. They may be traveling towards you. So spirit for Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And Aries, we have surrender to the divine, full moon, go with the flow, let whatever's happening happen and continuously move forward. So I don't know, Aries, I feel like you're in this process of like, oh, I'm going to be left behind by love, but you're really not. And spirits like that's causing you to be stuck. You have to get out of that surrender to the divine, surrender to destiny and what is already planned out for you, and sh then choose your path of direction. So thank you, Aries. Thank you for being here. And thank you for watching. And I will see y'all very, very soon. And next up is Taurus. Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Spirit for Taurus for this weekend in their love lives. What's going on for Taurus? Spirit for this weekend for my beautiful Tauruses. In their love lives for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is coming towards Taurus this weekend in love? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Taurus, you have the Lovers, the Page of Swords, and Temperance. Ooh, Taurus, it looks like somebody's been watching you here, possibly wondering what you're up to, very curious about what you're doing. And I do feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you. I do feel like somebody wants to, I feel like, come to a peaceful compromise with you it does look like there's this energy of you know you have the lovers here with temperance gemini energy and sagittarius energy could be dealing with one of these energies but somebody's being very patient with coming back your way it's like they're waiting for the right moment so they're watching you and they're waiting when is the right moment for me to come towards taurus when is the right moment for me to speak to Taurus when to what sorry when is the right moment to speak to Taurus in a moment that Taurus will respond back it's almost like they're waiting for their moment to to reach out to you because they may feel like if they reach out to you at any other time you may not respond I don't know, Taurus, but there's an energy around somebody very curious of what you're up to, what you're doing. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come back into your energy. They want to have peace and they want to have harmony with you. This person looks at you as somebody that could be their soulmate. You could be dealing with a Gemini strongly, a Libra, Aquarius, a Sagittarius, but there's somebody being very patient with their words, but they're watching you. And they will make themselves known. I feel like this weekend they may have been waiting for possibly a weekend where maybe Taurus will have free time to respond. But they're definitely watching you and they're definitely waiting for their moment to strike. I know that sounds weird, but that's what they look like they're doing. So let's see, Taurus, what do you have in the Moonology deck? Spirit for Taurus on Moon Rising Venus signs for their love life for this weekend. Thank you. All right, Taurus, you have, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. You may have Aries in your chart. They may have Aries in their chart, but this is all about 
<laughs> what did I say this whole time? They're waiting for their moment to strike, their moment to take action. Possibly some of you Tauruses, they could be watching you, waiting for you to take action. But nonetheless, it's time to take action this week weekend and someone is about to come your way. So thank you, Taurus, for being here and for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. See you very soon. Okay. And now, let's look into my beautiful Geminis. Spirit for Gemini for this weekend. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini for this weekend. In their love lives. What's coming to Gemini this weekend in love? Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's coming towards Gemini in their love lives? All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming towards you this weekend. We have the moon, the three of cups, and the king of pentacles. Somebody wanting to reconcile with you here this weekend. They may already be in your energy, but they want to share the love with you more, Gemini. Could definitely be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, specifically Pisces, Cancer here with the moon. But there's somebody who, they see permanence in you. They see you as somebody that could be permanent in their life. And I feel like this person is wishing and hoping for you to share the love with them, for you to be in their energy, for you to be happy and all that other stuff with them. Um, somebody may try to get out of the friend zone here with you, Gemini. Somebody may be in the friend zone and they may have some sort of hidden feelings here with the moon that they want to get out of the friend zone. But I feel like whoever this person is, they feel like it's very hard to read you, Gemini. I feel like somebody really wants to reunite with you on an extremely happy level. You may actually be going out with friends and meeting somebody and they think of you a lot more than just a friend of a friend. They may be somewhat interested in you and they just don't know how to articulate that to you or how to go about doing that. It does look like somebody wants to move from a friend level to a more permanent level in your life possibly romantically. So you may have some sort of secret admirer here, or you may have one this weekend that you don't even know of yet, but there is an energy around you being very focused on yourself, Gemini. I feel like you're very focused on work, finances, money. I feel like there is some sort of energy around you that you're continuously, you're leveling up, but somebody really sees this in you and they want in. They, they're like, I want some of Gemini and I want some of it now. <laughs> For others of you, this could be somebody from your past wanting to come back around, but they're very fearful of your, of your response to them. They're very fearful of how you will respond to them or if you will even reciprocate what they have to say, whatever the case may be. There is some sort of fears here and some hidden emotions that somebody has for you, but they just can't help it. Honestly, that's what it looks like. This person just can't help but feel this way towards you, Gemini. So if you're in a relationship, you may be um, fearful of going out. You know, you and your person, you two may be very much at home. And you two may be having this fear of wanting to get together with friends. You may get an invite to do something as a couple, whatever the case may be. You two may have some sort of fears. You may actually end up wanting to stay home instead. So let's see. What Moonology cards coming through for Gemini Spirit? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend. And we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in their chart. But this is showing the world who you truly are. Your true authentic self and not being shamed of it at all. So I do feel like for a lot of you Geminis, this person wants to show you the real them, about how they really do feel, that may come out for some of you. For others of you, Gemini, somebody, I'm telling you, it's very hard for somebody to read you right now, Gemini. I feel like 
I don't know, you got on a poker face or whatever, but it's up, it's very difficult for somebody to know where they stand with you, and they may try to get that out of you this weekend, so that's what I feel here for you, Gemini. Thank you for being here, and thank you for watching, and I'll see and talk to all my Geminis very, very soon. And next up is Cancer. Hello there, my beautiful Cancers. For this weekend, Spirit, what energy is coming towards Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Please show me the energy that is coming towards Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love lives for this weekend. Cancer, I just released your bonus reading. You can go find that on my channel. So let's see for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Cancer, let's see what's coming towards you. We have the Three of Cups. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Ooh, Cancer. It looks like somebody who has left you, walked away from you, whatever the case may be. It looks like they're going back and forth on reconciling with you. They look like they're going back on, back and forth on coming back into your energy. This person's in like contemplation mode. Could be a water sign, could be an earth sign. But this person is like really thinking about it. They're like, do I come back towards cancer? Do I turn around? I walked away from cancer. Should I go back? It's kind of like that sort of vibe. For some of you cancers, I definitely feel like you could be having this energy of wanting to reconcile with somebody and not really sure. But it looks like... Honestly, Cancer, whoever this person is, they may have too much on their plate. So they may come back around in a friend-like way and just leave you on this friend level. They look like they have a lot going on. For others of you Cancers, I definitely feel like this person may want to reconcile with you. Somebody who has walked away from you. And because of this person walking away from you, no matter how many times, it's like now that they're back, Cancer, your February readings title was, they always come back around. So this could be when this is um, coming into reality for a lot of you, but... It's almost like this person always comes back and they always leave. So it's like a lot of you Cancers are in like contemplation mode. Like, do I really let this person back in again? Do I let them waste my energy again? Some of you Cancers, this person actually brings you a lot of happiness. But when they leave, it's like you feel like what's going on? And for others of you Cancers, this person may have not been a flip-flop energy. This could have just been somebody who walked away from you a long time ago wanting to come back around your way and you may actually see this person out but there's an energy about truly letting this person back in or not and I feel like they're contemplating coming towards you you're contemplating if you will let them back in and it's kind of just like this energy of like well if you come back in are we gonna get anywhere or is this just going to be like a friendly vibe here? So, very interesting here, Cancer. But nonetheless, somebody's coming back your way. They're thinking about it for sure. But this person, they seem like they have a lot of a lot of things going on. They have to find balance between a lot of different people. For some of you Cancers, this person may be juggling you and another person. And that's why they're always out into the distance and then come back around. But even if they are juggling, they can't stay away from you for whatever reason. They always have to come back towards cancer. So wherever they are going, if it is another person, not bringing them much satisfaction or any reassurance of who they are. And they always have to come back towards cancer. Because cancer shows them love. Because cancer knows how to show them appreciation and acknowledgement. So, Cancer, let's get your Moonology card. Nonetheless, you're just going to have to think about letting this person in. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend. For some of you Cancers, I just want to say this. This person may come back around and you may make a, you may make a decision to not that, let them in. 
A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. There you go, Cancer. So whatever you do decide to do, you will win. Whether you let them in or not, you will find it within you to have victory. You will have victory. Things will come back into balance. You could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe you got some Libra in your chart, but you are absolutely, no matter what, you're going to win. Even if this person is... Someone who's just keeping you on this level, Cancer, you are still growing within. It doesn't matter what this person does. You still find it within you to have a victory anyways. And for a lot of you, like I said, this person just coming back around makes you happy. So that's what I got here for my beautiful Cancers. Thank you for being here. And thank you for watching. And next up is Leo. Hello, my lion gang. Let's get into it for Leo spirit. For this weekend, what energy is coming towards Leo for this weekend? Leo, I just got a bonus for you out. You can go find that on my channel. So Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend. What energy is coming towards Leo for this weekend? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Leo, we have the Queen of Swords the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords. All right. Somebody's coming in hot. Hot, hot, hot. They want to communicate. They want to talk to you. They may actually offer you commitment. They may actually be communicating to you that they want to commit to you. Honestly, this kind of looks intense because we got the Queen of Swords, like, taking on the Knight of Swords, which could be extremely intense energy here. So it looks like a conversation this weekend, possibly about commitment, could be a Taurus energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with these two Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, but it's like a battle for like who is going to offer commitment first, who is going to articulate what they have to say better. That's what it looks like, but it looks like heavy communication here between you and your person, but it's almost very logical. It's about, you know, this communication is about what do you want out of commitment? What do you want out of commitment? Do what we both want out of commitment match. Are we compatible? Or are we just in totally two different lanes? That's what this is about. For some of you, you may be hearing from work. But I do feel like whatever comes from this communication and this conversation is going to bring some sort of blessing and some sort of abundant abundant energy to your love life. I feel like there's just going to be a lot of chit chat with your person this weekend. And if you have not heard from anybody, if you're a single, single Leo, you may have somebody coming around to want to speak to you, want to talk to you. Somebody may be cutting out somebody like Leo, you may be cutting somebody off. Because they do not have the same values as you. But it, ba it basically looks like two people going head to head. Like, well, I want this out of commitment. But I want children. But I want marriage. But I want to have children at this age. But I want to have children at this age. No, well, I want to get married by here. But no, I want to get married by here. That's what it looks like. It looks like y'all are just going back and forth of seeing if you two can be compatible. So you actually may be meeting a totally new person. And you're just having this like really intense conversation. Could definitely be on the internet. So let's see, Leo, what your Moonology card is, but a lot of communication for Leo this weekend. And your bonus reading was all about the communication you've been waiting for. So if some of you Leos have been waiting to talk commitment with your person. This may be your weekend. So let's see what Moonology cards coming through for Leo for this weekend. I don't take flyers, sorry. But if it comes out, it will come out. Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. All right, Leo, you got... What do you need to release? Waning Moon. So honestly, I do feel what needs to be released is you two not speaking about this. So you two may be releasing parts of yourselves that no longer serve who you want to be. Or who you want to be with each other. I do get an energy of Leo wanting to cut someone off though. I don't know why I feel this way. Leo. You may have 
cut somebody off and now they're coming around trying to talk to you. You may have to release this person. Or you two and this person may have to release the energy of pulling, of holding back. Of controlling what you really want to say. Because it looks like y'all are just like, I'm just going to say what I want to say. And let's see how it's accepted. Let's see how it, I get a respond from Leo. Or what response does Leo give to me? Because it looks like someone's just like... If they've been holding on and pulling back, it looks like they're releasing that and coming towards you. So, get ready for conversation, basically. Thank you, Leo, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Virgo. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Spirit for Virgo. Can I please have what energy is coming towards Virgo for this weekend? For this weekend for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs for Virgo for this weekend in their love lives. All right, Virgo, you have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot. Beautiful movement away from deceptive energy. Whether this is you or them, you may be self-sabotaging yourself, finally moving away from that. Or somebody may have been deceiving you and they're finally moving away from doing that. But there's definitely a conversation happening this weekend of what you want out of love and how you want to move forward into the future. Can we have growth? Can we have success with each other? Can we have victory or are we just wasting our time? I do feel like here with the Seven of Swords, this could be, Virgo, your fears of being lied to, cheated on, whatever the case may be. But there is movement forward here. There's movement away from lying. There's movement away from fears. There's movement away from sneaky, self-deceptive energy. The Chariot could be dealing with a Cancer or somebody with Cancer in their chart. But this is movement forward. You have many different directions that you can move forward, Virgo. You can either heal with this person, have a conversation about it. Or, you know, have a conversation and move away from this deceptive-like energy. So, I do feel like, Virgo, a lot of decision-making for you this weekend of which path you want to go down in your love life. This is kind of reminding me of Aries reading. So, if you have Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries, definitely rewind and go look at theirs. But there's an energy around moving away from lies, moving away from deceit, and moving away from sneaky energy, whether this is you or them. Or the fears within you that you think you're going to get lied to, cheated on, whatever the case may be. The, it looks like there is extremely fast-paced movement away from this. So that's a very good sign. I do feel like a lot of you Virgos here, if this was not you or another person doing things they shouldn't have been doing, I do feel like there's going to be a conversation possibly about each other's fears. You know, like, I fear this may happen. I may fear this will happen. But there's an energy of still moving forward. So either, Virgo, you're realizing that you're dealing with somebody who's sneaky and you're moving away from them. Or <clears throat> you're moving away from fears. Nonetheless, it's moving away from deceptive energy, which is great, right? That's great. Moving away from fears, moving away from doubts, because this person in the Seven of Swords, they're stealing these swords, so they're not used against them later. So, very interesting here. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Swords. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So let's see what's coming through in your Moonology deck. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Somebody may have been doing this. Somebody may have been being sneaky on the internet, writing to people they shouldn't be writing to, liking pictures, whatever the case may be. And it looks like whoever was doing that, they're choosing to stop. They're choosing to move away from it and to either embrace this connection fully or possibly, Virgo, you're moving away from a, a sneaky energy. So let's see what Moonology card we got coming through for you, Virgo. And we have confidence is your key to success. 
new moon in Leo could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. But feeling confident in yourself and feeling confident again in love. Not feeling like, oh, I have to steal these seven swords because if they're left behind, they're going to be used against me. No. Finding confidence and moving forward in your love life or in a connection without letting your fears take over or allowing someone to possibly walk all over you, take advantage of you, whatever the case may be. You don't want that anymore. You're moving away from it. A lot of that energy. If you have these fears of being lied to, you're moving away from those energies. So confidence in your love life is about to come through. And that's what it looks like. Fast paced movement into the future. You may live at a distance from somebody. They may live at a distance from you. You may be moving, whatever the case may be. But there is energy of victory, conversation, and movement forward. So thank you you Virgo for being here and for watching and I'll see and talk to y'all very very soon and next up is Libra hello my beautiful Libra Sun Moon Rising Venus signs for Libra Sun Moon Rising Venus sign spirit for my beautiful Libras for this weekend in their love lives what's going on for Libra this weekend in their love lives All right, Libra, you have the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Magician. Using your powers of manifestation here, Libra, to manifest somebody stable. Keep doing it. Because the more you continue this, the more you will attract somebody stable. You may actually be trying to manifest commitment from your person, but the biggest message here is if you're going to manifest, you got to let go of the past. So are you still dwelling in the past? Are you still bringing up problems from the past? Are you still bringing up trust issues from the past? That must be released so you can manifest a permanent lover into your life. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Aries, a Gemini, a Leo, a Sagittarius. But there's a need to look towards the future. To look away from the past. To turn your back on the past fully and have a whole new world. So I do feel like Libra, you are wishing and hoping and hoping for a whole new world in your love life. A whole new positive shift where you feel confident, where you feel abundant, where you feel stable. I do feel like for some of you Libras, you may have a very stable energy around you, but they may be very focused on work. It may be very hard to read this person. Or Libra, you may be the person that's very hard to read. But continuously using your powers of manifestation to reap rewards is definitely very, very high here for you. So Libra, keep your energy positive. Keep your energy loving, compassionate, and kind, and you will attract this sort of energy towards you. I do feel like, Libra, you're choosing the new path ahead, and I feel like you're going to manifest commitment from someone, or you're manifesting somebody permanent in your life. I like this a lot. So work may be involved with the King of Pentacles. You may work with them. They may just work a lot. So let's get your Moonology card here, Libra. Some of your manifestations may be taking form in reality this weekend because you have been choosing the future opposed to looking in the past and really sitting in your present moment and realizing that the more you believe in yourself, the more other people will believe in you. The more that you believe that you will reap rewards the more they will and I do feel like you've been manifesting Libra keep doing it because this weekend you can really have whatever you like you just have to believe that you can create it for yourself definitely could be dealing with somebody that works a lot I'm getting that energy constantly so let's see for Libra Sun Moon Rising Venus signs letting go of the past starting fresh starting new either with a newer person or somebody you already know but really keeping your confidence high Leo, Libra is your key to success we have you and your loved ones are safe a new moon and cancer 
So with this card coming out, I do always get another card after this because this is always a great confirmation, especially during a pandemic, that you and your loved ones are safe. So some of you Libras may have had some anxiety about that, and this may be spirit sign to let you know. But let's see what other Moonology card will come through for you. We have... The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer or somebody with Capricorn or Cancer in their chart. But the tough cycle of being stuck in the past. The, the tough cycle of not believing in yourself, not seeing your worth, not seeing your value, and finally realizing, aha, I can create my own reality for myself if I believe that I can. I like this. Thank you, Libra for being here and for watching. I'll see y'all very, very soon. Next up is my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, Scorpio, and welcome to your weekend love reading for this weekend, Spirit. What energy is coming towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Can I please have what energy is coming towards my beautiful Scorpios for this weekend in their love lives? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs all right Scorpio let's see what's coming through the three of Pentacles the ace of cups and the two of cups all right so working together with your person coming to some sort of peace and harmony and loving compromise the three of Pentacles working as a team with your person opposed to working to up, up, against each other really coming to this realization that if we work together we can go far but if we continuously work against each other we're going to stay at this one pace the ace of cups a new loving offer coming your way could be from a water sign cancer scorpio pisces this could just be your person finally opening up to you i do feel like there may be some sort of i love yous with this two of cups ace of cups three of pentacles finally saying like you know what I'm tired of closing myself off to you, Scorpio. I'm just going to let you know how I feel, and I'm just going to hope that you feel the same. And in all, a lot of you, Scorpios, you do feel the same. For others of you, Scorpios, you may be meeting some new love through work or whatever the case may be. You could absolutely be meeting some sort of new loving energy that you feel the connection with right away. But Scorpio, yes, this could be new love, but I'm also feeling like a grand gesture that you may have been waiting for, for you to really feel the love with your person. So Scorpio, if you're involved already, it's looking like this weekend's going to be a lot more lovable than this relationship has been. I do feel like somebody may express to you how much they really do love you when in the past they may have been a little bit more practical not as loving or just trying to feel out the vibes of you to see if you feel the same but you have a new love offer coming your way somebody that looks at you as a soulmate connection and I do feel like if you don't know this person from work, there may be some sort of work situation involved where you two are finally finding the time for each other to work as a team and to come together in each other's energy in the physical. So let's get your Moonology card for this weekend. Could be dealing with that Earth sign as well with that Three of Pentacles. And we have, what do you need to release? Waning moon. I think somebody's releasing, not opening up. That's what it looks like. Somebody's saying, you know what? I'm not going to let Scorpio pass me by. I have to tell them how I feel. And they may be releasing control. You may also be releasing control. For a lot of you Scorpios, you may have been very controlling of yourself, not really wanting to give your energy to somebody who doesn't deserve it. And you may actually be releasing that because you feel as though this person who's coming in for you or this person who is expressing themselves emotionally to you, possibly for the first time or just in a different way, is helping you release the control to open up. So that's what I have here for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And up next is Sagittarius. Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses, and welcome to your weekend love reading. For this weekend, let's see what's coming through for my Sagittariuses. Spirit, what energy is coming towards Sagittarius this weekend? 
in their love lives for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sagittarius, I did get a bonus reading for y'all out. You can go find that on my channel. So Spirit, what energy is coming towards Sagittarius in love? All right, Sag, we have the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Ooh, could be dealing with a Virgo. Sag, I feel like somebody really wants your attention here. And I feel like the Nine of Swords energy could go both ways. I feel like somebody could have gone Hermit mode on you, and now they're coming out of Hermit mode, and they want your attention. And... They want to give you their attention, and it's going to make you feel really good. For others of you Sagittariuses, <clears throat> somebody may be having a lot of anxiety, <clears throat> a lot of anxiety over you. I don't know why I get this vibe that somebody feels like they may lose you, or somebody feels like they have already lost you, and they're like, no, 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 like I can't lose Sagittarius. I have to go back around towards Sagittarius and see if they're willing to accept me. It's this weird energy here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But somebody is almost overthinking this connection at, a, at an extreme level. So whoever is this hermit, whoever is in hermit mode, whether it's you, very self-isolated, or them who self-isolated themselves from you, it's like they want to be back in your energy. They want your attention. They want to be seen by you now. Where in the past, they may have not wanted to be seen. Or they didn't really care for your attention. But now, all of a sudden, they want your attention. So it does look like you are going to be receiving attention from somebody who is a hermit. Somebody who is very much in the shadows. Or they went hermit mode on you. This could just be a newer energy that, you know, Sagittarius, this person, <clears throat> whoever this person is, they may be very self-assured and very self-aware and still continuously, continuously healing. And then it's like they meet Sagittarius and they're like, oh my gosh, like I really want this, but like I don't know if I'm ready for love yet, but it's like I really want this. It's, it's so interesting. Somebody really wants your attention. They're almost like <clears throat> having sleepless nights over it. For others of you, Sagittarius, this person going hermit mode on you caused you anxiety. And now they may be coming back around to explain to you what happened, why they went hermit mode, or whatever the case may be. But you look like you're receiving attention from somebody who wouldn't normally give attention to people, if that makes sense. Or hasn't been giving attention to you. All right, so let's see what your Moonology card here is, Sagittarius. <clears throat> For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. All right, Sag, you have, ooh -hoo, Believe in the Impossible, Blue Moon. Yeah, for some of you, this hermit, you would have never thought that they would come out of their hiding to come towards you or wherever they went when they went hermit. And for others of you, this is somebody who normally doesn't give attention to people. This is somebody who's still focused on themselves, still focused on healing, but it's almost like it's impossible to let Sagittarius pass them up. It's like they can't. It's like they're like, if I miss out on Sagittarius, this is going to be the worst missed opportunity that I've ever had. That's what it looks like. So... That's what I got here for you, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very soon. Next up, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming through for Capricorn Spirit for this weekend. For Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, what is coming towards my Capricorns for this weekend? For Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs signs all right cappy let's see what's coming through for you you have the hierophant the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles capricorn somebody wants commitment with you and that's that 
somebody feels very spiritually connected towards you could be a Taurus they may have Taurus in their chart this is all earth coming through here so Taurus Virgo Capricorn they could have this somewhere in their chart or they're just like all about you Capricorn they're like I want to see you it's like they physically want to get together with you they want commitment with you wow Capricorn you got somebody really really into you here you may be meeting somebody new that really sees potential in you but Capricorn whoever you're dealing with here they're willing to be patient they're willing to trust in the process of things they really see you as somebody that they could have it all with somebody that they could have stability with somebody that they could have commitment with for some of you Capricorns you actually may be getting proposed to and this Knight of Pentacles could have been taken forever to really get this proposal off the ground, right? For others of you, this could be a leveling up in the connection, boyfriend and girlfriend to fiance to fiance. Maybe you were just a fling and now you're becoming in a relationship, but this is all about commitment, Capricorn. Somebody wants commitment with you. Somebody wants to see you if you maybe haven't seen somebody in quite some time or they plain old, they, they just want to be in a relationship with you, Capricorn. This looks like somebody asking you to be in a relationship. That's what it looks like. You may be feeling very divinely guided towards your person as well. You may have been hoping for this. You may have been wishing for these offers, but there's an offer on the table to move forward and to continue growing this connection. This person absolutely wants to marry you or they wouldn't pass up the idea of marrying you, Capricorn. So beautiful. Let's see what your Moonology card is, Cappy. We have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries could be dealing with an Aries or somebody who has Aries in their chart. Yeah, this is going to be big. This is big energy. This is really stable, growing, and very high potential energy here. So I really like this. I feel like somebody is just going to say, you know what, that Aries energy, like I'm ready. I'm just going to go for it and I'm just going to see what happens. Does Capricorn want to take my offers or what? That's what it looks like. So Thank you, Capricorn, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Aquarius. Happy birthday to my beautiful Aquariuses out there. Hope you have a wonderful birthday season. So Aquarius, how funny. You have a new moon in Aquarius on the 11th, and you are the 11th zodiac sign. All right, so let's see for Aquarius, what's coming towards Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs this weekend in their love lives. All right, Aquarius, let's see who's coming through for you. The Four of Wands, the Justice card, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so you may be planning to travel with your person but there is somebody here that is very interested in being with you. The Four of Wands, they want to be in your energy. They want to have balance with you. They want to have stability with you, joy, possibly even marry you, be in a relationship. Justice could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. I feel like this person wants fairness with you. I feel like this person, if they weren't truthful in the past, they want to be truthful now or... This person is very interested in moving forward with you. For some of you Aquariuses, you may live at a distance from this person, or there may be some emotional distance here. You know, with the Six of Swords, there may be some sort of distance involved between the two of you, or maybe you're just planning to do something or travel with each other. Whatever the case may be, I do feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you may have had somebody made a final decision about this relationship, and moved away from you and they may be coming back around they may have been like ah, I don't know if that was really my final decision you turn that may be happening for some of you Aquariuses let's see why is the six of swords here for Aquarius somebody may be wanting to make things right mm -hmm. if somebody messed up here it looks like this weekend's all about making things right here. We have the star. There it is. Yeah. Finding hope again. Finding healing again. Wow. Right as I was saying that, the cards come out. Beautiful. So two healing cards here. So it's all about healing this weekend. It's all about 
being fair with each other, having equal give and take, coming back into balance and really finding hope in this relationship or finding hope in your love life again. So that, that's what I said. Somebody may have left you and now they're making a U-turn and they're like, wait, nope. I think Aquarius is my wish. Boom, Aquarius energy. So let's get your Moonology card. Aquarius could be dealing with a fire sign. A Gemini as well. Doesn't just have to be a Libra or an Aquarius. So let's see what Moonology card comes towards Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's coming through for you. We have Expect Powerful Change. New Moon Eclipse. All right, and y'all are having a new moon. So expect powerful change. Honestly, expect things to get better in your love life. Expect things to progress in your love life. Expect your love life to start moving forward at a way better pace and a way more balanced pace. If things were in balance in the past, I do feel like things are going to start progressing a lot better. So thank you, Aquarius, for being here and for watching. And happy birthday once again. And last but very much not least, my fellow Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Let's look into your weekend spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces for this weekend? In their love lives for my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's coming towards Pisces this weekend in their love lives? All right, Pisces, see what's coming through for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, and we have the Magician. Look at all that yellow. Pisces, using your powers of... All right, that was a very loud train horn. Okay, using your powers of manifestation to get what you want. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Gemini, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it looks like there is somebody around you that is interested in you. They see potential in you. They see that you can be somebody that they can be with and they can grow with. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I do have a feeling that I kind of feel like for some of you Pisces, you may be dealing with somebody who's very slow with offering their commitment. And honestly, this weekend, they may show more speed with this chariot energy. Could be dealing with a cancer. You could also live at a distance from this person. There could be travel involved with you this weekend, but you're really manifesting what you want. You're really finding confidence in yourself. You're using your powers to move forward in love. I do feel like for some of you Pisces, you're trying to manifest this Knight of Pentacles to move a little bit faster, right? For others of you, Pisces, you could have manifested a new love coming your way. Somebody who's practical, somebody who's stable, and somebody who means what they say. So, Knight of Pentacles trusting in the process of the pace of the movement forward. So, for a lot of you, Pisces, you were just kind of like, oh my gosh, is this person ever going to speed up? Let me try to focus on myself. Let me try to use my powers of manifestation and maybe something will happen. And it looks like this weekend, whoever this slow energy seems like they're going to speed up, it looks like there's going to be a lot movement, a lot more, sorry, movement forward with you and this person in your love life. For others of you Pisces, you could just basically be meeting somebody who sees potential in you. They see growth in you. They see you as somebody that they could have something real with. And Pisces, with this magician energy, that's you could have whatever you like this weekend. The chariot as well. The chariot has multiple different paths that it could go down. And the magician has every tool in the deck. So Pisces, it looks like you're getting whatever you want this weekend. Whatever you've been desiring, whatever you've been manifesting out of love, looks like you're getting it this weekend. And I love that for you, Pisces. So let's see your Moonology card for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives. Don't forget to continue to manifest. I do have a manifestation on my channel that will teach you how to manifest what you desire. So Pisces, your Moonology card is be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Mm-hmm. That's why you have the Magician because the Magician can do whatever he wants. He just has to pick what tool 
he wants to put out there. So for some of you Pisces, you're saying, you know what? I know that spirit favors the brave. I don't know if anybody's read The Alchemist, but they have a way better wording for that. I just can't think of it right now. But it's almost like Pisces, if you feel like you can have whatever you like, then why would you sit around and wait for it? You're 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 going for it. You're you're saying, "Look, I want you Knight of Pentacles." Or somebody may be doing this towards you saying, "You know what? I want you Pisces and I'm not going to act slow and cautious anymore. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to show you that I want this. Cardinal Moon taking the lead, coming up with an idea and going with it. Being bold. Fate favors the fearless and bravery is extremely favored as well. True intended bravery. So I feel like Pisces, this is really good energy for you. Whatever you want to go for, go for it because you are truly going to reap extreme rewards. And for some of you Pisces, this could absolutely somebody coming your way saying like, you know what? I really do see Pisces as somebody that I could be with. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to keep being lackadaisious. I'm going to show them I mean business. So I like this a lot, Pisces. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. And we are done with the weekend love reading. Thank you everyone for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. Do not forget to like this video. And if you want something more in depth, head to my channel. Oh, we got a bunch of readings out that you can watch. And if you want to book private with me in the description box below, send me an email and we'll book you right in. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful, blessed, abundant, and happy weekend. Bye now.